Mike Huckabee is going to lay out far-right Republican philosophy here in a nutshell. Let's listen. I think we make a mistake when we start telling the enemy what our limitations are. I think we make a huge mistake when we say we're going to do up to this. I think what we say is we're going to do whatever it takes. If it's 10,000, if it's 100,000, if it's 3,000 sorties a day, if it's 5,000 sorties a day, we never tell our enemy what our limitations are, what we're willing and what we're unwilling to do. And that's one of the mistakes I believe that we're making militarily. But the biggest mistake we've made militarily is letting Barack Obama cut our defense forces by 25 percent and leaving us at the least prepared position we've been in since before World War II. We have to get our military rebuilt from the ground up. And all over America, I hear young people say, would you tell me what you're going to do? Will you give me free college? Will you make sure that I can have medical marijuana? You know what I think we ought to tell young people? We aren't going to give you anything. We're going to give you the opportunity to get off your butt and go serve your country and secure your freedom, because if you don't, nobody else is. Okay, that is absolutely precious. So there you go, guys. If that's what you want out of your government, which is supposed to represent you, by all means, vote for Mike Huckabee, vote for the Republican Party, vote for far-right candidates in the Republican Party. They're telling you exactly what they'll do. They'll say, eh, eh, eh. Shut up. Don't tell me what you want the government to do for you in terms of what your tax dollars go towards, the money that you pay. The fuck that. Let me tell you, shut up, put on a uniform, and go fight in Syria. Go fight in Iraq. But wait a second, why would we do that when, as we've gone over a hundred times, and everybody admits, well, we don't like both sides in Syria. We don't like Assad, vicious dictator, kills civilians, horrible guy. But on the rebel side now, it's mostly Islamists and jihadists, including ISIS and al-Nusra. Why again do you want poor women and, and, and men from Nebraska and Wyoming to go fight over there? Please explain that. How does that make you more moral? No, that makes you less moral. That you're using our brave young men and women as pawns in a geopolitical chess match against Russia and Iran. That's really what's happening here. So, spare me your nonsense, but notice the main point is, he says, it, it's this philosophy of... Yeah, you pay your taxes to the government, but shut up, shut up, shut up. We're not going to give you anything. You know, don't ask for stuff for your money. Shut up. You're paying me to appease me, the government, and I will dictate to you to, to go fight in wars that we shouldn't be involved in in the first place. Well, Mike, I'm not paying the government to appease it. If I'm paying taxes and I say, hey, prioritize college, put my money towards college, you're supposed to represent me in a democracy and do what I want because I paid the fucking taxes. To not do what I want, you would be robbing from me. Okay, so we're just asking for rational priorities and we are paying for our government. So we get to choose if we want college or health care or other things. But you want to take our money and do whatever you want with it, not listen to us, and then go send us to die for no goddamn reason overseas. There's your Republican philosophy. Don't, the government's not going to represent you. Get over it and, oh yeah, go fight in wars that we shouldn't be in. And finally, he says, well, you know, the problem is Obama's weakening our military. We're at a weak point now with our military. Oh, is that so? Let's take a look at the chart here. Wasn't well, that adorable? The U.S. spends more than the next 14 countries combined on military. Those are the 14 next biggest countries combined in terms of military size. And most of them are our allies. We spend more than all of them. And what does Mike Huckabee say? Eh, eh, no money for college. Shut up about that. We need to increase for military spending, even though clearly we don't. And I'm going to make you fight overseas and die. And don't you dare ask me to represent you by doing what most people want, which is legalizing weed, 58%, and doing universal college. Mike, uh, you're wrong. You're not representative. And basically, you're all around just a bad dude.